Hello everyone, this is Dr. W. H. Pennywood coming to you from the Pennywood Center for Counseling and Education in Hearst, Texas. That's a suburb of the Dallas-Fort Worth area to those that have never heard of us. Our phone number is 817-898-0490. Our web address is dallaschristiancounseling.com or fortworthchristiancounseling.com. That's all one word. When we talk about marriage counseling, and you think about your marriage, and you think about all the joys that you've had, all the fun times that you've had raising your children, or if you haven't had any yet, all the glorious times that you're going to have raising your family, growing old with your mate, and you know that is something that over the 28 and a half, 29 years that my wife and I have been married, it has been a real joy for us. But at the same time, they've been some very trying times. But one of the things that we have always had going for us, besides the Word of God, and the Word of God is what guides us at the Pennywood Center. We listen to the Holy Spirit for guidance and instruction whenever we counsel somebody. But have you ever asked yourself the question, 1 Corinthians 13, love is patient, love is kind, and the list goes on and on. How many of us can say, you know, I've done that pretty well in my life. I can say, honestly say that I have it. There are times when I've fallen way short of the love is patient, love is kind type of thing. And I always look back and I say, what could I have done different? But one of the things that we did do that really helped us when we first started our counseling center, we learned about temperament therapy. There are five temperaments, the sanguine, the, the phlegmatic, the choleric, the melancholy, and the supine. That is how God wired us to be. So I know why my wife does what she does. Those little things that used to annoy me, well, they don't annoy me anymore because I know why she does them. It's part of her temperament, and I know why she's doing it, and so I don't feel offended. And vice versa, she knows why I am the way I am and what I need. And she helps me to meet my temperament need. You'll hear that term temperament need a lot in these upcoming videos. A temperament need must be met and will be met one way or the other, either in a godly way or an ungodly way. An example would be a sanguine in inclusion who has a strong need to be around people a lot. Well, if he's married to a wife or if she's married to a husband who cannot understand why their mate is never home, they may take it personally and think, hey, the reason why my mate isn't at home with me is because they don't love me. Well, that couldn't be further from the truth if you're married to a sanguine. The sanguine simply needs to be around a lot of people, and they're attempting to get their temperament need met. There are hundreds of various temperament needs that need to be met and can be met. And if you know what your mate is made of, if you know how God wove your mate to be, and maybe some of the things that you will have taken offense at, you'll learn that there was no need to take offense at all. It's just the way your mate is. Now, if you help your mate to meet their temperament needs, and the, your mate helps you to meet your temperament need, the stress level begins to drain and drop out of the marriage, and communication levels are improved greatly. And many times, ways you never thought possible, you'll be able to communicate with your mate because you'll know how to communicate. You'll know when to communicate, and you'll learn when not to communicate. There are so many other tools that we can put into the hands of a married couple. You don't even have to have problems, but if you do, this is the place to be. Knowing what your temperament is will help you dramatically. But you can be single. You can be a teen, a tween, an adolescent. My wife, Linda, specializes in women and children's issues, as well as marriage counseling and adult issues. But she is she's noted for that. She uses temperament with adolescents, tweens, teens, women, and adults. Knowing what your temperament is is the key to getting that stress level out of your life. And let's face it, guys, nowadays stress in today's life is something that is, is an epidemic proportion. It's really pandemic. Almost every one of my clients that come in, not all but most, are taking medications for this. And sometimes it's necessary, sometimes it might not be. They have to work that out with their doctor. But the tools that we put into the hands of our clients 
those tools and the Word of God will help them to become the people that they have always desired to be and that stress level will be all but eliminated. If you want to know how, 817-898-0490, FortworthChristianCounseling.com, DallasChristianCounseling.com. My wife and myself cannot wait to meet you. We love you and God bless you.